Hello guys, welcome back to Ton of Things, but for today's video here are going to show you how to fix Roku TV showing blue screen. So if you're interested, let's get started. So there are going to be a few things that you can try doing here to probably solve this issue. So first things first is you want to check the power here or any connections for your power uh, on your Roku TV. So in this case, make sure the power cord is security plugged into your TV and also you're using an, or a working outlet. Now, you may want to test a different outlet just in case. Now, maybe plug it in another room, use an extension cord, or maybe remove the extension cord and plug it directly into the working or in your outlet. Now, if your TV has a power indicator light, check if it's on or blinking to confirm it's getting power. Also, you may want to inspect all the HDMI, uh, HDMI power or cords here for any damage or loose connection. Now, also, if necessary, you want to unplug and reconnect all of them. So, make sure to unplug then make sure to re-plug them again. Now, if you do see any like metal parts exposed, you may need to uh, plug it further, but not too much to, uh, to break it, but just make sure it's properly plugged in. Now, also you may want to verify the, uh, in this case, the connection or the source of your um, TV, which in this case, you wanna press the input or source button on your remote, and you wanna cycle through the available input options or sources here until you find the correct one for your device. Now, also, you may want to uh, specify which one. Like, for example, if you connect this on HDMI 1, you choose HDMI 1. If you have HDMI 2, choose HDMI 2 as well. And also make sure any external devices, like a keyboard box or any gaming console out there, are powered on and properly connected. And if none of this or this is not a problem, what you could try doing as well is you may want to restart your Roku TV. So in this case, to do a manual restart here, so you could just basically unplug your TV from the power, wait for about 30 seconds, and plug it back in and turn it on and see if that actually helps. But just in case if you want to do this via your remote, you could just press your home button for about like five times, then press up a button once, then press rewind twice, and then fast forward twice here and TV will st start automatically. Next is you may want to check for some software updates. Now sometimes outdated software can cause the display issue itself. So you, in this case you want to press the home button on your remote and then you want to navigate to settings then system then to system update. Now check uh, now and follow the instructions to install any available updates. Now sometimes un unupdated um, Roku TV can actually have a lot of issues, so make sure the software is fully updated. Now, if none of this actually work, you can actually perform a factory reset, but in this case, only do this if the before or the other methods I've discussed before does not work. So in this case, you want to find the reset button on your on the back of your TV. So in this case, it's going to be a very small hole here. You may need to use a paper clip in this case, a, a pin or paper clip to press and hold that button for about like 15 seconds. So make sure to hold this for the whole duration, 15 seconds. Now you want to release the, uh, in this case, the button and the status light will start blinking. Now just follow the on-screen setup instructions again once the TV starts and you should be good. Now, just in case none of this or none of these steps before actually work, there's nothing that actually works here. The best and last thing you could try doing here is to contact Roku support. Now, most likely the issue itself might be a hardware problem itself or a software problem. Typically, a, main, uh, a professional may need to check this in order for, uh, for them to know exactly what is exactly happening on your Roku TV. But in this case, that's about it. Hopefully, this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.